Hi everyone, this is John McNaughton doing another sketch here. It's Saturday and um, I've been fasting for 13 days now and I'm as weak as I can even say. I am uh, wondering if I can make it through this sketch. So uh, wish me luck. I'm working on the eye, the uh, if, you know, Trump's facing us, that's the right eye. And um, I like this picture of Trump. I think it shows a lot of confidence. And seeing what we're going through as a country with the coronavirus, I wanted to paint another, I'm sorry, not paint, draw <laughs> another sketch with a nice quote that really captures, uh, you know, the feeling of, of what's going on in the country and, and Trump's leadership, his involvement in, in helping us to, to overcome this coronavirus. So I have uh, uh, the, the eyes kind of blocked in and I'm gonna uh, do this for the whole face and then go back and put in some shading. When I do these sketches, I usually find you know two or three different photographs and I kind of do it the way I want so you won't find a photograph that looks just like this it's just kind of a gesture uh, these go in my sketchbook I do so many of these sketches they're kind of my way of relaxing I don't have to think too hard and right now my thinking abilities are, are uh, let's just say it's hard to put sentences together sometimes but um, it's been a good two weeks uh, I haven't had anything but water and it's really hard the first few days you know your body's kind of detoxing and then after that you just feel really weak so I've managed to uh, continue signing prints uh, I do that a couple times a week making sure my, our customers are happy and um, and then I've started this new thing I call it the Saturday night special where I do one of these sketches on Saturday and then I make it available as a limited edition, a really small edition that I only charge $29 for. Uh, and it's really cool when they're done. And those have been selling out uh, every time I do them. So I thought, I'll make this one really special. Uh, well, I, I always say that, but <laughs> I really liked the quote and I like this uh, look on Trump. So. Anyway, I, uh, I'm giving it my best shot, and I notice that when I'm really weak and kind of lightheaded that I don't draw as fast, so I'm speeding up the time lapse on this to about twice the normal speed, and you can see how I'm uh, kind of measuring out things, kind of working from the eyes out, and uh, if I pull out my eraser, it's because I either made the measurement a little off or or I wanted to make something not quite as dark. But these uh, these little pencil sketches, I, I have hundreds of them. I keep them in my sketchbook and I file them. I've done some pretty cool ones over the years and I'm gonna get a bunch of them framed up and hang them in my, my studio. So, you know, we've been uh, here in Utah where I live. Uh, just yesterday they declared a lockdown, you know, where people aren't allowed to to mill around like they used to unless they have uh, you know go to the grocery store the doctor things like that uh, as far as I know our warehouse is still able to ship out pictures and that's good I'd feel sad if, if we couldn't you know, take care of our customers that way I mean it could happen you don't know but you know Trump's talking about Trump's talking about um, hopefully lifting a lot of these restrictions after uh, Easter and uh, I don't know if that'll happen I can understand what he wants to do because I mean the, uh, the economy being totally destroyed uh, you know is a can actually lead to a lot of people um, dying as well you know I mean if you have 30% of the, of the people out of work which is a projection they're looking at you could have all kinds of problems with suicides and uh, you know just going back to the Great Depression you know 1930s we don't want that so one of the things I was wondering about is wouldn't it wh why can't we put a quarantine and special um, 
protection for the elderly and those with conditions and allow everybody else to work. You know, I noticed that looking at the numbers, about half of the people that they get it are under 50 but the mortality rate for them is far less than those who uh, have predispositions to, to, to really suffer from this disease. So I say we get America back to work right away. Uh, you know, as far as this uh, big bailout, this uh, $2 trillion um, bailout, I can't think of any other thing to call it, you know, it makes me really nervous. Uh, I know what they're trying to do. Uh, they're trying to protect industries so that uh, when we do have a, a, a resurge, resurgence of the economy that we don't have, you know, we're not crippled in certain areas um, like the airlines, you know, perhaps the hotel industries, the casinos, I don't know. I'm not quite, quite understand that. I know that that's a big part of the economy in certain states. Uh, I don't quite understand it completely. Um, I read over some reviews of everything and there were there were some pork belly stuff that was smashed into that that bill that I do not understand why it had anything to do with the coronavirus and why it should be allowed to be in there you know things to do with uh, sunscreen testing you know billions of dollars uh, that just doesn't make sense to me so there there's a few things there and you know that's how it always is uh, you know, everybody politicizes everything, and here we are in a in a national emergency where people are dying, and you know, states are pretty much being you know hogtied. All this is going on, and you have people trying to politicize this. I know that it's it's a worse nightmare for the the Democrats because here you have Trump. He's he's up and he's. Uh, you know, speaking to the public almost daily as he talks about the coronavirus and he looks so presidential and you know all this airtime he's getting free advertisement and poor Joe Biden he's stuck at home and and he can't you know make it through a, a single conference without sticking his foot in his mouth and he just doesn't look very good and so the a lot of these networks are trying to decide what's worse you know do we not uh, play the full amount of these press conferences and you know try to keep Trump from having an advantage or, or do we do what's best for the people um, you know it's just a it's just a mess but uh, Trump Trump's doing a great job I'm I'm really pleased with the way he's showed leader leadership uh, in the midst of a of a national emergency and and uh, he's kept his wits when people, are, as usual, are getting on his case. And I think that um, in the end, uh, this is another, this is going to be another victory for Trump as we overcome this virus. So you look on the picture there. I'm I'm starting to fill in a lot of the, uh, the shadow and kind of forming the face. I use that crosshatch in my sketches. It's not really about trying to make everything as tightly realistic as possible as much as just capturing the form you know so you get a feeling of the shape of the figure and it's just a sketch you know these take me a short amount of time um, but the results are really nice and uh, I, I like doing it I love finding the quotes that to go with the right face you know, right now I've do, been doing a bunch of Trump faces lately, but I've drawn everything from John Wayne to, um, uh, oh, I can't believe I forgot his name, the actor from the Ten Commandments. Uh, I think I'm having a, a brain cramp because of my fasting. <laughs> I've uh, drawn pictures of uh, um, Hillary Clinton when she was running. You know, Sean Hannity has bought a bunch of these little sketches from me. And one time when I showed him the, the Hillary, he says, that's good, but you'd have to pay me to buy that one. <laughs> uh, I kind of agreed. I mean, she just drives me crazy. I think yesterday she made some snarky comment about um, how 
yeah, we're America first. Yep, that's what's happening under Trump. And, re and, and she was referencing the, the coronavirus since we're the number one country with the most cases right now. I mean, I just couldn't believe she would say something like that. I mean, everything has to be political. And she just loses sight of, you know, the fact that there's people in this country suffering. And all she can do is try to find a way to use it against Trump. I just can't believe it. But I guess I can. I, that's, some people don't change. So, anyway, uh, after this fast is over tomorrow, tomorrow's my last day. I'm gonna on Monday as I break my fast I'm, I'm going to start with just chicken broth because the body has to reacclimate to to receiving food if I was to go out and get a steak dinner my goodness I'd get so sick <laughs> I've done this before this is probably the fifth time I've done a long-term fast and I always like how it makes me feel so uh, I'll take chicken broth first day by the second day I'll start eating a little bit and going into the month of April I'm going to be focused on a new painting which I'm very excited about um, it, it's a very hopeful painting it's it's a very um, American with different presidents in it, it has to do with uh, it's I think it's related to what we're going through as a country now and our hopes and prayers for this president and I think you're gonna like it I'm real excited when I get excited about a painting I, I have a feeling usually that I'm gonna have a good one um, I, I think that about everything I, I every painting I do I'm, I'm excited about it and you know, I like to keep things different uh, you know some people look at my paintings and they can tell that it's a McNaughton and they, they may not see that they're different but I use different color palettes and compositions and uh, you know just different ways of approaching them some are more impressionistic than others uh, this one will be pretty tight and uh, it'll it'll be a nice painting with multiple figures so I really like the look on Trump's face you know he's got that kind of confident look in his eye and he's got that awesome Trump hair uh, you know, for a guy his age, he's, he does a good job of taking care of himself, I think. Uh, you know, his weight has gone up since he's been president, but can you blame the guy? I mean, can you imagine the, the stress and the pressure that he's under? And I mean, I, I don't know how he does it. I'd probably, I probably would have gained more weight. Uh, I'm working on a smile. I'm trying to get it just right, and so I'm fiddling with that, uh, and... No, I'll get it right by the time we're done but it's uh, it's coming along good there so this coming election is gonna be quite interesting I wonder how they're gonna do it probably some kind of mail-in ballot I mean we can't line up at the polls can you imagine that I mean last time I went to to vote there was a long line we had to stand in line for a half hour everybody's like like kind of right next to each other I mean that's a, a coronavirus uh, nightmare right there so I think they're probably going to figure out some kind of, uh, of a ma way to uh, to mail in our ballots I know they've done that before but um, it'll probably be only mail-in ballots is my guess and I hope that there's uh, a way to control it so there's not a lot of corruption okay I'm starting to get that look just the way I want it I like that look on Trump's face yeah yeah gotta get that little thing off his cheek there so Trump, I've, as I've said before, he has a lot of really interesting expressions on his face. You know, I've done the last three sketches have been uh, pretty uh, somber with, with a soft smile. Uh, coming in the future, I'm going to do some fun ones where he's laughing or smiling or, you know, really getting emotional. You know, one of the fun things about a sketch is I don't like to just paint your straight up front you know right you know uh, flat looking faces I like to have them turned a little bit you know get the perspective in the face I think I always think that's interesting and so yeah it's looking good uh, so anyway as far as the election uh, you know I, I I'm really amazed how uh, Biden was able to to get ahead 
I wonder if if he's a shoe in though uh, for the convention, or if there might be some kind of brokered convention. You know, there's talk about uh, Governor Cuomo, uh, Cuomo. I don't know how you say it, that he might throw his hat in, which I hope he does, because he'd get destroyed by Trump. That guy's a joke. However, um, Biden, I think, will probably get it. And it'll be interesting to see who he chooses as his running mate. You know, best thing that could happen to, to Biden is if somebody like Michelle Obama agreed to, to be his running mate. But I don't know if that'll happen. And if it does, it doesn't mean he's better off. Trump will still win. But she's very popular with, with a lot of voters. Uh, I think she's a mess. But it'll be interesting. Another thing is uh, I'm hoping that Trump keeps, that he keeps uh, uh, Pence as his running mate. There's rumors that he might select someone else, but I think he'll keep him. So here I am, I'm writing the the quote on the sketch, and uh, I found a cool one I like. It says, we've pulled together as a unit. We've pulled together as a country. And... uh, you know, because we have pulled together as a unit. I mean, he, he said this just a few days ago when he was uh, doing one of his conferences regarding the, uh, the coronavirus. And, you know, there's been a lot of uh, people from both sides of the aisle that have been, uh, oh, brain, brain fog, that have been uh, cooperating. So we pulled together as a unit. We pulled together as a country. We will prevail together. That's right. You know, Americans, when things get tough, we do come together, just like 9-11. And we haven't, I mean, that was, <laughs> that was a long time ago. And uh, here we are, 2020. And there it is. Put the date at the bottom for when he made the quote. So now I'm just kind of going around touching stuff up. I think it's nice. Here's the the picture that we're selling. It'll be available tonight, the Saturday night special. And usually those sell out within an hour. So if you're interested, go ahead and get you one. Thank you so much. Hope you liked it. Bye.